Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rajiv Khan from IT Nation. Now in this brief Facebook Pixel tutorial for beginners, I am going to walk you through exactly how to simply add a Facebook Pixel to your WordPress website. Okay guys, now just quickly before we go ahead, consider subscribing to stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials. So the basic concept of this video is, let's say I have an e-commerce website and people come to my website through Facebook ad or Google search and many other mediums. So what does that mean? When people click on my website or when people visit my website, that means those people have interest in my products. Those people want to learn more about my products. So what I will do is, I will retarget those people through Facebook ads because they have interest in my products and they are more likely to buy the products from my website. So installing Facebook Pixel to your website allows you to track your visitors and their activity on your website. So first of all open your browser and then you will have to open your business manager business.facebook.com. However, if you don't have a business manager account, then click the link up above which will guide you through the process of getting started with the business manager. As you can see, we are inside our business manager account. Now what you want to do is navigate to your home. If you are not already on home, just click Facebook affair. And that's going to bring you to your business home. Then come down and click the settings icon. Okay, so here we are on our business settings now. If we navigate over to the left hand side under accounts, you can see that we can create or add an existing business space. We can also create or add an ad account. Then we have other Facebook assets down here which we are not going to discuss in this tutorial. What we are going to do now is that you go ahead and create a Facebook pixel. So all we need to do is navigate down to data source, then come down to pixel. Under pixel, you can see that we already have few pixels. What we want to do is navigate up to add and add a new pixel. Then just come down and name your pixel. So I am happy with iteration demo pixel. Then come down and if you like add your website URL. We are going to go ahead and add the website URL and then come down to continue. Here we want to select continue managing my business. So log into your WordPress admin section and it will look something like this. Simply go down and click plugins, add new and then from here search plugin and search for my favorite extension. There are lots of extensions for Facebook Pixel, but the one that I recommend is Pixel Your Site. You can see the plugin here, the Pixel Your Site, the blue icon. So install it and once installed, click activate. So once the plugin is installed, if you scroll down the list, you will see down here we have got the Pixel Your Site. You will also notice that it appears in the WordPress menu on the left. So I am going to click on the dashboard. Now to set up Facebook Pixel, I am going to click the settings button. Here we have to place the Pixel ID. Now I am going back to copy the Pixel code from Facebook Business Manager. Placing the code and then click on save settings. In the free version, you can also track some events. For example, on your website, some people will view product or add product to cart or go to checkout page. Some people also purchase some products. To track this kind of visitors, you have to click the event menu and enable the event button. Once done, go down and save settings. In the pro version of the plugin, you can also track clicks, mouse over and page scroll. You can download the plugin from the given link in the description. So pixel setup is done. Now it is time to check if the pixel is working or not. We can check this inside the business manager 
or using a Chrome extension, Facebook Pixel Helper. I already have this extension installed. Now I am going to open the website, click on extension. You can see that we have a pixel here. Now I am going to add a product to cart. We can see add to cart button click even is showing. So we are all set now. Next time I will create video about remarketing ad. So that is all for this video. If you have not subscribed my channel yet then you can do it now. Thank you for watching till the end.